Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back here on my channel. This is me once again, Teacher Jinjin, your virtual teacher here on YouTube. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Magandang araw, mga minamahal kong grade 10 students. So, nandito na tayo ngayon sa pinaka-last part ng inyong module, week 8 na tayo. So, congratulations, malapit na nga tayong matapos. Ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon ay tungkol sa polynomial equations. Marahil ay naririnig nyo na to or alam nyo na ito, pero i-review lang natin kung ano nga ba ang polynomial equations upang sa ganun ay ma-refresh tayo. Okay? By definition, a polynomial equation is a special kind of algebraic equation where each term is a constant, a variable, or a product of constants, and variables raised to whole number exponents. Ito yung standard for ng polynomial equation. Naka-arrange siya according to its exponent or according to its degree. Ang standard form ng polynomial equation, decreasing powers. Halimbawa, meron tayong polynomial equation dito na 5x squared plus 2y minus 7 is equal to 0. Yung leading coefficient dito ay yung 5. Ang tawag naman sa 5 at 2 ay coefficient ng variable. Yung variable, yun yung nakikita ninyong mga letters sa polynomial equations. At yung nasa taas ng variable, yun yung exponent ng variable. Okay? And then, ang polynomial equations is usually separated by operator. Sa operator tayo magbibase kung paano natin bibilangin yung polynomial equation. So, meron tayong isang term, tapos pinaghiwalay ng plus sign. So, bali dalawa na. Then, hiniwalay ulit ng minus sign and tatlo. So, meron tayong three terms dito sa polynomial equation na to. Pero hindi lahat ng merong exponent or merong mga variable ay polynomial equation. Meron din itong mga restrictions. Ito ay ilan lamang sa mga restrictions ng isang polynomial equation. Hindi siya polynomial kapag yung variable ay merong square root or merong radical sign. Halimbawa dito sa example na to, 2x squared plus squared of x. Hindi siya polynomial kung merong radical yung variable. Okay? Pero kung number or yung constant ang may variable, polynomial siya. Basta wag lang yung letters ang may square root. Another one, wala dapat negative na exponent sa polynomial equation. Halimbawa dito, negative 2 yung exponent niya, hindi siya polynomial. Another one, x cannot be in the denominator. For example, 8x squared minus 2 over x. Kailangan yung x ay nandun lang sa numerator. Okay? Another one, x cannot be an exponent. Hindi pwedeng maging exponent yung x or yung mga variable. Yung variable, ito yung mga letters. Last one, exponent cannot be a fraction. So, kapag polynomial equation, bawal ang may exponent na fraction. So, yan yung mga dapat ninyong tandaan para malaman ninyo kung polynomial ba or not polynomial yung isang equation. Okay? Meron namang degree ang polynomial equation. Halimbawa, dito sa 14, 0 degree siya at ang tawag naman dito ay constant. Bakit 0 yung degree nitong 14? Kasi meron siyang invisible na kasama na variable na x raised to 0. Di ba lahat ng variable or constant raised to 0 is equal to 1. Kaya 14 times 1 is equal to 14. Kaya hindi na natin nilalagay yung x raised to 0. Doon nang gali yung idea kung bakit 0 yung kanyang degree. Okay? Another one, we have 2x minus 7. Ang degree niya is 1. Paano natin nasabi na ang degree niya is 1? Kasi lahat ng variable na wala kayong nakikita ang exponent ay automatic na may degree na 1 dyan. Hindi na nga lang nilalagay kasi understood na positive 1 na yung degree nyan. Ang tawag naman dito ay linear. Then, another one, we have 4x squared plus 8x minus 5. Ang highest degree nya is 2. Ang tawag dito ay quadratic. Then, 
we have 14x cubed plus 16. Ang highest degree niya is 3. Ang tawag naman dito ay cubic. Okay? Cubic polynomial. Another one, 4x raised to 4 plus 7x minus 2. Ang degree niya is 4 at ang tawag naman dito ay quartic. Ano naman ang tawag kapag x raised to 5 halimbawa? There is no special name after the 5th degree. You only write it as 6th degree, 7th degree, and many more. Okay? Ito lang lima lang ang may special name according to its degree. Then, meron ding types of polynomial. Yung tinatawag na monomial kapag one term. Halimbawa, meron tayong negative 2x raised to 5. Okay? So, iisa lang siya. Wala siyang kasamang term. Then, another one, binomial, meron siyang two terms. Sabi ko nga kanina, malalaman ninyo na nahiwalay siya sa isang term kapag merong operation. So, x squared plus 5. So, isa, dalawa. Kaya, two terms yan. Another one, we have trinomial. Meron namang three terms. We have 3x, isa yan, minus 8, dalawa, plus 4x raised to 5, tatlo. Okay? Then, 4 term polynomial, 4 terms. Halimbawa, negative 7a squared, isa yan, plus 9b, dalawa, minus 4b raised to 3, tatlo, plus 6, apat. So, merong apat na terms. Ang tawag doon ay 4 term polynomial. At kapag mahigit pa sa 4 or 5, Usually, ang tawag na doon ay polynomial. Pero lahat ito ay types ng polynomial. Kaya lang, meron siyang special name. Okay? Now, let's try to answer this learning task number 1. Identify if the given equation is a polynomial equation or not. Write P if polynomial equation and NP if not. So, sinabi ko nga kanina yung mga restrictions kapag hindi siya polynomial. So, pag may mga nakikita na kayong restrictions, ibig sabihin hindi na siya polynomial. Okay? Number 1, we have 3x raised to 4 plus 5x minus 3. Meron ba kayong nakikitang bawal sa polynomial? Wala. So, this is a polynomial. And number 2, 2x raised to 4 plus 2x cubed minus 6x plus 12 equals 0. Meron ba kayong nakikitang bawal sa polynomial? Wala din. So, this is also a polynomial. Number 3, we have x cubed minus 6x raised to negative 2 minus x minus 1 is equal to 0. So, anong nakikita ninyo dito sa number 3? Meron siyang negative na exponent. Kapag may negative na exponent, ibig sabihin not polynomial. Okay? Number 4, we have x raised to 5 minus 22 is equal to 0. This is a polynomial. Number 5, we have x squared minus 1 half equals 0. So, dito meron tayong fraction. Pero tingnan ninyo yung fraction kung rational number ba or meron bang variable. So, wala naman siyang variable. Ibig sabihin, polynomial pa rin siya kasi wala naman siyang tinamaan dito sa restrictions ng polynomials. Okay? Number 6, we have x squared plus square root of x minus 5 is equal to 0. So, anong napapansin nyo na dito? So, kapag may square root of x, bawal yun sa polynomial. So, this is not a polynomial. Number 7, 5x cubed plus x raised to 9 minus x cubed plus square root of 3. So, dito meron tayong radical sign. Pero tingnan ninyo yung nasa loob ng radical sign. Variable ba? Hindi. Square root of 3 lang siya. Ibig sabihin, polynomial pa rin yan. Kasi, it can be expressed as decimal pa rin. Kung may kasama sana siyang variable or kung may kasama siyang x, hindi dapat siya polynomial. Pero wala naman, kaya polynomial siya. Number 8, x cubed minus 5 over x plus 3 is equal to 0. Kung mapapansin ninyo, meron tayong fraction dito at yung kanyang denominator ay variable, merong x. So, bawal din yon sa polynomial equation. x cannot be in the denominator, so this is not a polynomial. Number 9, we have quantity of x plus 3 times quantity of x squared minus 4x equals 0. Meron ba siyang tinamaan na restriction ng polynomial? Wala naman. So, this is a polynomial. Number 10, 
x times x minus 2 times 3x plus 5 is equal to 0. Meron ba siyang restriction sa polynomial equation? Wala din. So, this is also a polynomial. Okay, nag-gets nyo na kung ano ang polynomial at hindi polynomial. Diyan sa learning task number 1 ninyo, di ba merong follow-up questions dyan na number 1 at number 2. Pwede ninyo yung pagbasehan ito. Ito yung mga restrictions ng polynomial equation. Okay? Abangan ninyo yung learning task number 2 sa susunod na video. Mga anak, kung nakatulong ito sa inyo, please like at mag-comment na rin sa baba. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy at mag-aral ng mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!